for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Today, I am going to be sharing a week in our life of gardening, our yard work, all of the outdoor things that we have going on right now, which is actually quite a bit. So many projects, it never ends, you know, if you own a home. But uh, I just wanted to kind of take you along as we do some things this week. We are planting our garden. We are doing a fresh cut flower garden this year. So we are gonna have to till the ground to get ready for that cut down some trees. We are gonna plant some hydrangeas outside our bedroom window here. We are going to have to make some Lowe's trips and we also got some new baby chicks. So we have a lot of things happening here at our house this week. So I will take you along as we get those things done. Before we do that though, just be sure that you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and be sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Say bye. <laughs> so behind this wall is our garden I'm gonna show you guys around in a minute we haven't done anything out here in months and months it needs weeds pulling it needs new soil uh, so many things we've honestly never had much luck growing things since we've lived here we've lived here about two years <laughs> the first year I was you know nine months pregnant the next year I had an almost one-year-old and life was super crazy <laughs> and that year no one's garden did well for some reason but this year we're determined we're gonna make it succeed so <laughs> let me show you all around this is our gigantic fig tree which I am super thankful for we get so many figs off of this thing <laughs> every summer and it's a blessing we make a ton of jam out of all of those figs but I think we are gonna cut it back just a little bit um, because my plan is so the garden is right here and then my plan is to make my husband has already killed all of the weeds and all of it all of that out here so my plan out in here is to make a cut flower garden right here and we're gonna also cut back some of these trees right here so we can have a little bit more sunlight and um, we're probably gonna cut some of this out. I also would like to eventually make some little stair steps going down right there. And then we will probably have like three levels of uh, flower beds. I think we're not gonna do raised beds. We're just gonna try to plant right into the soil. So we will see how that goes. Um, and then over here are our raised beds and so last year I had beans growing up that, but they were not that successful. They kind of all got choked out. So I think I'm not even gonna bother with beans this year. Honestly, you have to grow a ton to get enough to make anything anyways. And I just don't have the space to grow as many as I would need. So I think that's gonna probably be like a squash or zucchini bed. And then he, these are our other two big ones that I have. Um, and I am not sure what all is going in which bed yet. Today, the goal really is just to weed it all and kind of till it all. And um, I do need to get a few things planted in the next few days that are growing from seed and are pretty big and are ready to come out here. But I think today we're just gonna focus on the soil. And then I also bought some flowers that I can plant in some of my pots around the property. Oh, it's good. 
getting closer every dawn Ooh, We are dreamers of the shore When we can't read the sky We just sail with the wind that we've got And when we're drowning in doubt Just keep on believing We are dreamers of the these beds that we have done the soil came straight from our yard and we have pretty good rich soil we've tested it it was actually pretty good but like I said we have not had luck with things growing very well so this year we decided to get a few like bags of miracle grow soil because those are very nutrient and they will be really good for the soil. We also get just super cheap topsoil to kind of mix in with the good soil. And we also got some of this. It's supposed to be compost and manure. And we'll see. I don't know. We've never used this before, but anything with manure in it is usually pretty good for your garden. And although we have chickens, we haven't had a good compost system, which we plan on changing. Hopefully I can share that with y'all in this video, but um, we will have our own compost shortly. But right now I think this will do it. And then he also picked up a few bags of this just for some extra fertilization. We also mix in something called malorganite, and that also helps the soil. It's an organic um, fertilizer. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest
hold each other tight You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say gonna plant them in front of our bedroom window we'll have a pink a blue and another pink I know they'll all probably turn the same color because hydrangeas colors depend on the soil but I just wanted to get two different colors in the hopes that they might stay two different colors we'll see can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden If I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here Alright, we got everything tilled yesterday We have two garden beds going on right here And these are all going to be my cut flowers So we are about to start planting today I've got it all organized as far as What is going to grow the highest To what grows the shortest and that's how we're gonna plant it since our Sun kind of comes like like that then we're gonna um, plant most of the tall stuff on this side and then go down from there that way the tall plants don't block the little plants from getting Sun you're the rose in a garden and it shows if I'm honest compost bin uh, that we recently got set up uh, it's just a metal uh, 30 gallon bin you can get at any big box store with a lid all we did was take a, a small paddle bit it's, it's designed for wood but it'll cut into metal and your bit won't be that great after that but it's a small you know quarter inch or uh, three eighths um, paddle bit drill bit and just drilled holes uh, in the outside, all the way around, in the bottom, several holes in the bottom, a few holes in the lid, uh, just so that any excess water uh, will flow out, um, and there'll, there'll be airflow within it. Uh, we don't really have a good place to 
just do a pile on the ground, um, our chickens get into it. So we decided to try it in a in a metal can like this. Um, down at the bottom, we you, you want to, if there can be some airflow into the bottom. I'm mean, gonna have a lot of material sitting in the bottom of the can, but mainly for drainage and to help keep bugs out of out of it somewhat. Um, get it up off the ground out of the dirt. So we got it set up on cinder blocks for that. And uh, you just put your, you know, brown material, green material, and then, you know, your organic, you know, food uh, leftovers, eggshells, banana peels, really anything that we don't give to the chickens, we'll put in here. Uh, so some of the, um, there's a list of, of things that, you know, are not recommended that you let, that you let chickens eat. So, uh, somebody's been running in the sprinklers. Uh-oh. So, it's all the food stuff that we don't give to the chickens, uh, and we learn the chickens won't eat, we just put in there. Here are our new baby chicks. They're actually more like teenagers now. They have gotten so big, so fast. But we have two starlight green eggers, and we have two barred Plymouth rocks. And so the kids have just been enjoying these little guys little girls, I guess. They're both females because we don't really do roosters, but we have them just on our back porch. Um, it's actually a balcony. And that way uh, predators can't get to them because we have had an incident when they were in our garage, which we will not talk about, but uh, that's why we had to put them back here and it's worked out really well. Hi, chicks. Say good morning, chicks. Good morning, kitty. All right, friends, that's it. We have most of our garden planted. We got so much done this week. I feel so good about it. Um, we now just have to keep everything alive. So let's pray that we can do that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for joining us and my family for this week of family gardening. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure that you give it a thumbs up before you head out and be sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see y'all for the next one. Bye. Ooh.